G'day ladies and gents, and welcome back to War Thunder. If you've been following the news lately with War Thunder, you will know that the A10 Thunderbolt is coming to the game in the form of a premium. This is the A10A Early, and the A10A is going to sit at battle rating 9.7 as a rank 6, and it's going to have all the bells and whistles that the classic A10 Thunderbolt carries. The A10 Thunderbolt is an iconic aircraft. It is a very well-known and a very well-loved ground attack aircraft and it is coming to the game in the next patch so this has stirred up quite a lot of hype uh, but it also has stirred up a little bit of concern now I will stress that I personally don't have any attachment to the A-10 uh, and whilst I understand that a lot of people do I'd appreciate you guys sort of hearing me out and uh, sort of listening towards the end uh, where you make your judgment on whether or not I'm a complete idiot also note that this is the dev server, things could change in a matter of seconds and uh, all my points could be mute and irrelevant. On top of this we are not looking at live gameplay of course, we are simply speculating in this case and that does leave a couple of things open to interpretation as well as of course uh, not reflective of the live server gameplay so I could be totally wrong and I genuinely hope that I am incorrect uh, because I do believe the A-10A is going to be a fairly powerful beast in certain circumstances. Now the A-10 of course being a ground attacker is not particularly meant for air superiority game modes like Air RB. But of course that's the kind of thing that we're going to be focusing on. The A-10 is undoubtedly going to be bought in droves because it is one of the most famous aircraft in the world and is so hyped. It is incredibly hyped. But uh, for those of you that understand the A-10 and understand that the way this performed in its uh, roles in sort of terrorist suppression missions uh, might understand why I have a couple of concerns. The A-10 is not a particularly well performing aircraft. The aircraft does cap out at 642 kilometers per hour at sea level and uh, is not a particularly hard and fast aircraft. I would liken this plane's performance to be somewhat similar to maybe the F-3 Demon which is a 7.3, I believe. It, it sits around that low tier five and it fights things like the Meteors, it fights things like the ME262s, uh, some of the SU9s, SU11s, MiG-9s, uh, LA-15s, those types of jets. So you can understand the envelope of performance of the A-10, but then you might also liken it to something like the A-4. The A-4 is somewhat fairly capable. Um, a lot of people tend to have some really decent matches in it. They uh, are able to drop all of their bombs. They're able to clean up some ground targets. And of course, in ground RB, which is not so much of a focus for this video, but certainly in ground RB, the A-4 is quite potent, especially the A-4E with its four bullpups. Now, this particular plane, the A-10A, is going to be something completely different. Currently on the dev server, we have 480 flares, which is more flares than any other aircraft in the entire game period. And of course, if you put this on a period of, I believe it's one, uh, like one group of flares every two seconds, that's eight minutes solid of flares. You are not going to run out of flares unless you spam the hell out of them. So at 9.7, we're looking at some fairly susceptible missiles. These missiles, like even the R60, are not really much of a match for flares. The only thing that will really not care uh, is a pulse doppler radar with uh, an AIM-7 or something equivalent. I, I don't really see this plane having any issues with missiles. I do however see it having an issue with guns. This plane doesn't perform particularly well, it is about half the speed of the average 9.7 and it is pretty much a bus. In my limited test flights against this thing, I was flying the F4J and I was sort of able to keep up with it in the F4J, which is probably one of the worst turning phantoms in the game. So this plane is not going to be great in a dogfight. I think it's going to be a heap of shit in a dogfight, which is to be expected because it's a ground attack platform. Now, uh, where am I going with this? To make up for that, Gaijin has decided to give this plane AIM-9Ls at 9.7. And to me, I feel like this is a massive oversight because 9.7 and AIM-9Ls don't really go hand in hand. The AIM-9L is such a potent missile that it's really really hard for me to justify it being anywhere in the game apart from sort of 10.3, 10.7, 11.0 and that is on planes that are complete and utter shit like uh, what would be the A-10. In RRB I see this thing being very very strong for a couple of kills. 
but the moment you run out of those two missiles, you're pretty much dead weight. And this brings me on to sort of my main point. I, I don't see the A-10 being a particularly competitive platform in Air RB. In Ground RB, this could be a completely different kettle of fish. 9.7 is a fairly low battle rating for this thing. Uh, we saw the A-7D do fairly well at 9.7. Uh, it was it was pretty good. We could put the, uh, the Gau, I think it was the Gau 8s, or basically the equivalent uh, onto gun pods, and we could run them pretty nicely, and they, they actually worked quite well. The uh, A7 platform was also reasonably quick. Uh, it wasn't blisteringly fast, but it was certainly uh, close to double the, uh, the speed of the A10. So we had a fair opportunity to sort of get out of the way of radar SPAA. The thing that I find with the A10 is because it's got such hefty performance, it's such a fat plane, I feel like a lot of players that are going to pick this plane up are going to pick it up because it's a very hyped aircraft and then they're going to take it into Air RB with very little experience. Uh, there's already a couple of posts of people wondering why they don't have the A10A in game at the moment and that's because it uh, is a pre-order pack. You, you've pre-ordered it and it hasn't come to your account yet because the patch drops and then you get the A10. And there are people that don't understand that um, and that's because they're so damn new to the game. I feel like this plane is going to bring a lot of new players to the game and they're going to clog up the teams. I, I don't mean this in a particularly nasty way. I mean this, I mean this in the best way possible because uh, as a new player, it's extremely hard to understand War Thunder and to make the most of War Thunder because there's just so much to learn and you're literally being thrown into an area where there's not a lot of leniency. Granted, you do have countermeasures, but you need to know how to use them. You do have AIM-9Ls, but you need to know how to use them. You do have guns, but you need to know how to use them. Even your ground ordnance, you need to know how to use them. You need to know how uh, CCIP works. You need to know how to uh, prep and get your Mavericks tracking. You know, your uh, guided bombs as well are no different. Uh, and then, of course, there's the whole dealing with the sort of CAS SPAA and all that sort of dy dynamic, uh, you're going to find a fair amount of trouble. And in Air RB, where there's a single spawn for your whole match, you're going to find teams of A10s that are going to basically be in the match. They might actually get one or two kills because of the AIM 9Ls, and then they're just going to either die or alternatively there's going to be so many A-10s that everyone's just going to have an AIM-9L thrown in their face. Now, for me, I would love to have a really balanced game across the board. I don't particularly care if one plane is slightly better than the other. I do, however, care if there is a significant technological difference between the two. For example, if a nation lacks a pulse Doppler aircraft, uh, then it kind of sucks for them. Um, China is a good example of this. Italy is a good example of this. And uh, hopefully they'll be brought up to speed with this next patch, but uh, we will have to see, of course. Now, with the A-10, we have a case here where the air airframe, for all intents and purposes, for dogfighting, uh, is a turd. This is not a dogfighting plane, and I think that's fine and well, and we can all understand that. But when you thrust it into an Air RB context, you are forcing the plane to either sink or swim in the form of dogfighting, and you're putting this plane in an area where it is not meant to be used. Quite frankly, this plane should, uh, like, it's going to suffer in Air RB if, if my prediction is correct. And I, I sincerely hope I'm, like, half right and half wrong, because I really want this plane to be well balanced. But with AIM-9Ls, you're going to be fighting things like the E Lightning, the MiG-19s. Um, you might come across, I don't know, a Rogue Crusader on another team. Um, and then all the way down at the bottom, you're going to be facing things like the Venom. Things at 8.7 or 9.0, like the MiG-17s, that are just going to get completely outclassed. It doesn't matter how fast you are, uh, 1,000 kilometers an hour or even 1,100 kilometers an hour is not going to be fast enough to dodge an AIM-9L. The AIM-9L is basically an R60 that uh, doesn't really care about flares. And and for me, that's a real tighten, tightening point. I, I really don't like that. I find that quite uncomfortable because you end up with a plane that has just the ability to, without any repercussions, without any skill needed, click a button and literally get a kill with with no repercussions. It, it kind of reminds me of the uh, Jaguar GR1 situation. 
like the airframe could be a complete turd. But if you have insane weapons, then you're going to get kills and it's going to be really frustrating for everyone else. And I, you might think, well, that's fine. America can have some nice toys once in a while. There's no problem with that. And in a way, that's, that's kind of true to an extent, but not to this extent. Because at this point, you'll actually start to drive away people. People will go, no, I just can't be bothered to go up against AIM-9Ls in my 9.0 plane or my 9.3 plane or held my 9.7 plane. And they're just not going to play. And so you end up with a dead battle rating or you end up getting up tiered all the time and it's just no fun. So Gaijin is at a real tender point here. They could either kill the matchmaking completely with their infinite wisdom or they could potentially find a better way to balance this. Now, what, now I know that we haven't seen this come to the live, uh, the live server, but I would really think that this plane would be better suited to a 10.0 or 10.3 battle rating. Now, hear me out. I know that might sound a little bit, uh, I don't know, anti-freeaboo or something like that, but I genuinely think that if this plane is going to be fun to play, it needs to be in an ecosystem where it's not going to smash every single enemy it comes against, and then, of course, it can't be smashed by every single enemy that it sees. There has to be some balance, because then who wants to play the losing side? Literally no one. And you'll find that after a couple of weeks, just like we did with the Harriers, no one wants to play against the Harriers. And if they do, they end up losing so quickly that you don't end up even getting into the battle because you're so damn slow. Or maybe you took a quick detour or you weren't as ready and didn't get off the runway quick enough or wanted to go and drop some bombs first. And this will actually hamper your research. This will hamper your ability to climb through the ranks with the A-10A. Now, finally, I'd like to bring up the point of the main tech tree A-10A that's been seen in the files. There is an A-10A late that has four AIM-9Ls. And I hope to God that it, because it also has 480 flares, I sincerely hope that this thing comes in at like 10.3 or 10.7. I seriously think that AIM-9Ls are just going to be so damn strong, unless, unless of course by some miracle, Flares are just so damn strong that it's not even worth firing a missile, and then that just renders them mute. Uh, but at a tier where everyone has flares, I find that okay. But uh, when you start bringing the extremely good weapons down to 9.7, I start to have a problem with that. And of course, for those of you saying, well, what about the Yak-38? Uh, I made a video on that. I call it something like the missile power creep problem or the something with a missile. You'll see the thumbnail. It's uh, got a big fat R60 on it, and I made my point loud and clear. I do not like the R60s at this low a battle rating, because it's basically a free kill. And I don't think a free lunch is something that War Thunder players should be aiming for. I think that's a low ball. I think that's not going to help you in the long run, and I think it's not going to be nearly as rewarding. Getting, getting a kill in an underdog plane is way more re rewarding than getting a plane kill in a flavor of the month plane. I seriously think that this plane has some great potential. I think it's cool that it's coming to the game, but I seriously just want it to be balanced, and I want it to be fair for everyone, because that's where you will get the best ecosystem. That's where you will get the most returning players, and that's, of course, where you will get the most fun RP and Silver Lions. I'm not saying don't buy this plane. Of course, if you are inexperienced, I wouldn't recommend that you buy this plane, but of course, if you do want to buy the plane, I'm not really the one to stop you. And if you do, by any chance, you could use the decal link in the description below with a shameless damn plug. You get 3% off and you get my decal in game. So what's there to lose? I guess, uh, your sanity with the A10. You never know. Maybe you could be losing other people's sanities for them. Uh, I genuinely wish that it isn't going to be this way, but I have a hunch that it might be. Of course, I do tend to get predictions like this wrong, uh, especially when it comes to the dev server, but I seriously have a hunch that I'm right this time, and I, I really don't want to be. I really want this plane to come to the game, and it's all fine and dandy, and we don't have any other problems, but I have a sneaking suspicion that that's not going to be the case. I really want it to, but something inside me is telling me otherwise. Anyway, ladies and gents, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Get hyped for this patch. It's going to be interesting with the J82 and a couple of other planes coming to the game. Some nice tanks, of course the Israeli tanks, maybe I might grind them out, have a go. Of course I do do some tanking, as you can see in the background footage. Uh, but, you know, thank you very much for sticking with me. I'll have some more content coming for you soon. And uh, in the meantime, take care. 
and I'll catch you next time.